This is the one where he talks about the doctors. And it's actually called Doctors of the Dark Sites. And this is the one where he starts off talking about how all of the techniques were used together. It was never just one. It was always multiple techniques being used together. Um, and so he describes all of the techniques. I, was, uh, I wasn't just being suspended to the ceiling. I was naked, starved, dehydrated, cold, hooded, verbally threatened, in pain from the beating, um, and water drowning as my head smashed by hitting the, against the wall for dozens and dozens of times. My ears were exploding from the blasting harsh music which is still stuck in my head. Sleep deprived for weeks, I was shaking and trembling, my legs barely supported my weight as my hands were pulled even higher above my head after I complained that the handcuffs were so tight as if cutting through my wrist. Then my legs start to uh, swell as a result of long suspension started screaming. And then the doctor comes. The doctor comes. The doctor came with a tape measure, wrapped it around my leg, and to my utmost shock, the doctor told the interrogators, no, that wasn't enough. My leg should get more swollen. Uh, and he continues this by saying, imagine the doctor tells the interrogators the leg wasn't swollen enough. The medical doctor actually advocating for more torture. And you can see in his language here how he's getting more agitated. The medical doctor actually advocating for more torture. And this is what America came to, because this doctor and other doctors are back home in America and they will be doing what the US government trained them to do. No doubt every now and then they will miss long for their sadistic practice. And the American people may be the next victims. I mean, it's a logical conclusion. Uh, and then here at the bottom, he just recalls, uh, I think, oh yeah, he recalls that he'd be checked out by a doctor before he walked into each torture room. Uh, the doctor would tell the interrogators which methods they could use, and then as he came out, uh, the doctor would check him again and then tell the interrogators what else they could do. The medical doctors who were on site were making decisions about how many, what techniques could be used, how they could be combined, um, and how, sp and, and really, you know, kind of horrifyingly, how they could be combined in order to get information from these men, right? So it's not just that there were doctors on site to ensure that nothing happened. It was not just that there were doctors in sight to check their pulse. There were doctors on site to actively participate in the torture of detainees.